Hello YouTube and virtual farmers. I am Dave CN5 here with another Farming Simulator 2013 mod review. Today I'm going to be looking at two different mods. They have to be downloaded separately, but it's a truck and trailer combo. They come from AmericanEaglesModding.com from developer Mudbone1. Uh, the first off is an international day cab. As you can see, it's a flatbed utility box, uh, and it costs $18,000. Uh, if there's any Peterbilt fans, there is a Peterbilt 379 alternative that comes with a yellow cab and a black body. And the second one is the Dirty South Trailer's Large Tipper for 30950 So this is them, all hooked up, ready to go. The trailer is loaded. First off, what you see with the truck is obviously the black. It's got roof, light bar, beacons over the mirrors, wheels and tires look great, and there's also a lot of chrome. For people who have low-end computers that they're running on, uh, Chrome has been known to cause lag and slow down your system. When I'm not filming these videos, I have had zero lag whatsoever, and I do have about 15 other mods in my folder. Um, again, no conflict with the Chrome, but I think they look really good together. And as you can see in the back, it's got dual stacks, working brake lights, and also a chrome bed with non-functional cabinets. There's this big gap though in between the tongue and the cat or the um, body of the trailer which I think is a little weird and then the wheels aren't chrome to match. Uh, I would like to see that but still it's not a big deal. There is a yellow cover over top of the trailer that is non-functional. You can't take it off um, so if you're emptying from a combine or uh, loading it from a silo the grain will pour through. Now it does hold 100,000 units of the standard fruit types found on your starting uh, map of the game. And there's also two tip points. You can dump the little chute door in the back or the whole back door does open. One of the problems though is uh, if you have the wheels turned, the number one and three axle rotate and the number three axle will go through the fender. Also, one other thing I've uh, noticed that's a little wrong with this truck is when I get up here, the F1 information bar is going to pop up. You don't get that in the truck. It will disappear. Uh, it's not a big deal because there's not a lot of controls for the truck. And then the other thing that's missing is usually above the speedometer, you have the implement switch that shows you which implement's highlighted. It shows an international symbol, or international symbol but there won't be any uh, trailer recognized. So it's, it's not a terrible thing, but still it's something that's supposed to be incorporated into the game. Uh, the truck is a little loud, so I'm going to try and speak up over it. So inside the truck looks pretty good. It's got a Playboy bunny hanging from the rear view mirror for comic effect. The interior is detailed enough that it doesn't take up a ton of mod space, or file space. And it still looks good. Could, there is more detail that could be done, but I actually like how it is. There's a few imperfections like the roof clearance lights and the light bar sticking to the top of the roof, and also the post for the mirror is sticking to the side of the door. All the lights work. You have brake lights that come on, running lights under the rear steps, roof clearance lights, working headlights, fog lights, and also all your emergency warning lights work too. It also does have a very good exhaust particle system, and the truck sounds good as well. If you notice right now the back of the trailer is off the back of the grate, but I'm still getting a uh, tip point reference, which so that's a little bit flawed. It needs to be adjusted in Giant Senator. Um, but like I said, you do have the two different tip points. I'll pull up here so that the back door opens. And there is no problems with the animations. They do work flawlessly. This does take a little while for it to dump, and there's 100,000 units. So I'm just going to go ahead to the next part here. Okay, the truck does accept any low trailer attachment trailers. So like this one, I've got hooked up to the cramped big body. And also if you look past, I also have one hooked up to the fifth wheel semi dump tripper. Um, it's a truck like this in real life isn't made for a fifth wheel. It's made for a gooseneck, but you can still hook up to it. The only issue with it is that the body of the trailer will go through these side rails. And you can also see the frame of it going through the bottom of the bed a little bit. But still it works. The truck does tow very well. Um, it's a little unrealistically fast. It goes 0 to 40 in about 4 seconds. 
Um, but it does top out about 52 miles or 43 miles an hour, which is a better alternative than trying to hook up a tractor and getting stuck at 20 miles an hour. So we'll go ahead and take off. One of the other problems is with the camera. This is as low as the camera will go. You can zoom out plenty and you can look up, but this is as far down as the camera goes. It's a little inconvenient at times, but it's not a big deal. So as you can see, we're off and here we are almost at top speed. The only problem with the physics of this truck is if you crank the wheel, the trailer will fling around a little bit. But that's not a big deal because honestly, who's going to take a turn at 43 miles an hour? There's no problem with slamming on the brakes. The trailer won't jolt or jump, which is good too. Overall, I like the truck, especially for an American style truck. They're hard, kind of hard to find. If you are looking for my American style mods, check out AmericanEaglesModding.com, uh, which is where this one came from. It's all American guys making all American mods. Really cool site. All right, so looking at the truck, it's a 7.75 megabyte file, which is a good size uh, file for a truck of this quality. So I'd give that a three out of three points. The looks, it looks great, three out of three points, no major flaws, little imperfections, but nothing major. Performance, it'll do anything you want, three out of three points. Scripting, I give it a two out of three. There's the problem with F1 information bar and the G implement switcher. I know it's not a big deal, but still it's not perfect, so I can't give it a three out of three, so it's bumped down to two out of three. And the error log, I give it a two out of three. There is no real errors. There is the UV map error though, but for those of you who don't know what that is, that is an error when you convert FS11 mods to 13, and it's a texture problem. That can't be fixed until Giants releases all the documentation that the modders need to correct this problem. But the trailer itself, I like the trailer. It's a little unrealistic that it's 100,000 units. It would be more predictable to be about 60,000. But still, it's good for people looking for a bigger size trailer. Um, it's a 4.54 megabyte file, so that's a very good size. So I give it a 3 out of 3. Looks, looks great. 3 out of 3 points. Performance, it performs well. 3 out of 3 points. Script, I give it a 2 out of 3. One, because the cover on the top doesn't work. Um, I would have liked to see that work. And also, there's the problem with the tip references being too far back in the trailer. That can be changed to the Giants editor, though, and that can be corrected pretty easily. And for the log, this also brings up the UV error logs, so that gives it a 2 out of 3 points. So to wrap it up, the International Hauler scores a 13 out of 15, and the Dirty South Gooseneck Trailer scores a 13 out of 15 as well. Uh, please subscribe if you guys like my videos. I will be making sure to be posting more mods soon. And I will also be posting the download links uh, for these mods in the description below and if you have any questions or comments please feel free to comment and if you have anything that you would like me to review please let me know and i will try and do that as well i hope everyone's enjoying 2013 so far it's a cold day here in january 23rd and i hope that you guys will come back and see more of my videos and i will see you in the fields happy farming